everybody, it's Vivian. And my name is Jason, and we run a YouTube channel where we review cameras and also share tips and tricks on how to elevate your photography and your videography through the hybrid capabilities of your camera. So one video that we feature a lot on our channel are review videos. So after playing with Adobe Premiere Rush, we have found this really amazing and powerful feature that has helped to optimize our workflow, and that is called the Auto Duck feature. Auto Ducking is an immensely powerful feature only found in Premiere Pro, and what it does is that it automatically lowers the music whenever there's a talking portion in your video and we're so happy that it's also available in Rush as well. So the auto ducking feature is really powerful because it's great for vlogs, travel videos, documentaries, interviews, and it's actually really easy to do. And Vivian's going to show you how to easily do it in Rush. All right, hi everybody. So I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Premiere Rush and the auto duck technique. So as you see on my timeline, I already have all of my clips pre-cut and ready to go. And as you see, when you load a clip into Adobe Rush, it can auto identify what kind of audio it is. So what I would like to do is I click on the clip and I go to the audio options on my right. Under advanced, that is where you can change the type of audio. So typically they can pick it up pretty well, but for example, all these clips that I have in the beginning, I'm using these as my B-roll shots or my more cinematic vlog type of footage. So I wanna have it as other. So what I typically do is I would categorize all of these clips that are gonna be overlaid with music as other. So that's right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and change this one too. Other options that you have in this advanced audio panel is voice, music or other. So for B-roll clips, I do other, and I'll go ahead and show you what I use for the other types of audios. So let's go ahead and finish that up. So we have speaking portions here. So this is a cut from one of the review videos that we just did for our channel. So as you see here, we have Jason speaking and he's doing a talking portion. So what I do here is I always categorize that as voice because you want his voice to be prominent in that clip. So this is great for when you're doing a vlog and you have it facing towards you and you're kind of describing what you're doing or talking about the location. That's when you categorize it as voice because you want your voice and your face to be the prominent features of the clip. So now let's go ahead and add the audio clip to this whole entire footage. So I'm gonna to go to my media library. I'm gonna scroll down and click on the song. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my timeline. I'm gonna close that up and I'm gonna drag this to the beginning of my timeline. So as you see, when I put my audio clip in and I'm gonna trim it down to the clip size, it's gonna play really loud. So I can show you a quick example right here. So it's gonna be one constant sound. Man, they say that when you travel oh back God. in time. So this makes it hard because when we have audio portions, your music is going to be competing with your speaking voice. So typically what we've done in the past is we've had to go in with the blade and kind of cut the audio up and lower it on specific parts of when you're gonna be speaking. And it, it's a little bit time consuming because then we have to also do like a gradual increase because you can't just cut the audio. So what I love about this Rush Auto Duck feature is that it does it automatically for you. So I'm gonna click the music clip and I'm gonna just go right here, make sure that it's categorized as music, and then you're gonna put auto duck. So what this does is it auto samples the clips that you have on your timeline and everything that you have that's going to be a voice clip, it's gonna automatically lower the music clip to match that. And you can also change how much you want it to reduce it by. So let's say I want the music to be a little bit more faint, I'm gonna put about 80%. Now, as you see here, we're gonna go ahead and scroll back to the beginning. So what you see here on this audio track right here is that it starts to slowly, gradually decrease in the audio sound so that Jason's voice becomes prominent right here. And then as we transition out of the audio clips into B-roll again, the audio starts to gradually increase so that it's not hard on the ears and it's very easy to listen to. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys the final completed clip here. They say that when you travel Ooh, back dog. in time. Would you quit it with the dog? What is eating?
Man, they say going to Cuba is like traveling back to the 1950s. Loads of classic cars to take photos of, lots of historical buildings that have a lot of history behind it, and very friendly locals to interact with. What do we tell you? Easy, right? Overlay some music in your next video project and try out the auto docking feature. Let us know how easy it is and show us your videos in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we hope to see some of you guys' amazing creation. Bye! Peace!